Welcome back guys to part 16 of Lost Epidemic and <sighs> I'll go this way and see if everybody is awake. Yeah, they are already awake. I know you are eager to leave, but let me check the bridge to make sure the water levels have lowered. We are looking forward to getting out of here. And believe me, I'm very much looking forward for your departure. Okay. Let's Hello talk there. to him. Hello there. I stayed awake as much as I could last night, but I never spot any monsters since body left. Too bad you never go to catch that Torquwood demon. You make fun, but I believe. And that's why I make fun. What do you mean, baby? I hope you were able to get some sleep. I'm sorry again you were dragged into this. It's okay, well, I've enjoyed it here despite our situation. You were always so good at finding the positive in our bad situations. Oh, Yeah, I have to admit that Valerie is so fucking sweet. Hello. My god. There is something strange about this place. I don't feel like myself since I've gotten here. Okay, apart from this, there must be someone who I can talk with. Oh yeah, right. I have to go this way. Are the waters lower enough yet? Hmm. Well, shit, this isn't good. Oh, wow. What's that? <gasps> oh. The whole bridge has been taken out. What are we going to do? Nothing we can do, buddy. Destroy the emergency line and our cell phones have no signal. We're not totally out of option, but it doesn't look good. We may be here a while longer. Ooh. What about buddy and father Parker? It's time to let everyone know what's going on. Keeping this as a secret is no longer an option. Yeah, I now I suddenly understand what it will be useful for the uh, shovel. What's going to happen now? The shovel there will be used to bury our poor father, Parker. So, everyone, I've got some bad news. The bridge connecting to the main road has been destroyed by the flooding. What? Now how are we supposed to get home? Unfortunately, the bridge is the only road connecting the seminary building to the rest of the campus. Without it, we can't leave by car. The next closest bridge is north of here by 20 miles, and the bridge is smaller than one here on the campus. So you think it's been taken out too? Very possible. I suggest we stay here until the cell signal is fixed and we can contact someone. Isn't there an emergency line we can use? There was. The security guard body has destroyed the emergency line. What? Why? I don't understand. I don't know how to tell everyone this, but our prized Father Parker has been shot. Oh my god! You can't be serious. Body accidentally shot and killed him after there, wa there and was believed to be someone trespassing on SDU property. Why would anyone t be trespassing on a church? During a hurricane. Clearly, Buddy is insane. And that's why he shot Father Parker. What a mess, Mandel. What kind of operation are you running here? Look, it's all been out of my control. Clearly. Where is Buddy now? We locked him in the security room. He can't leave. And he's gone? Where is his gun? We have it. Don't worry. Nothing else is going to happen. It better not. Mandel has thing under control, don't you? Yes, as best as we can. Everyone is safe. We just need to wait until our phone service is restored. Whatever is stopping us from getting a cell signal can't last much longer. There are a lot of people being affected. And a lot of people calling for help this morning. It wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath that someone will be coming our way in the next several hours. It could be longer than hours. Brad! Tell them about what you saw. Simon, shut up. But you told me you saw someone outside. Bradley, we're the only ones here. You probably just saw a white animal. I guess it's possible. It sure looked like a person though. We saw it. Baldur and I saw it too. Simon, you saw a deer or some other large animal. There are no such things as monsters, remember? Yes, mom. Could be a homeless person trampled by the flood. 
Don't you have them around here from time to time? It's possible. Do we need to ration food? I'm hungry. We should have plenty of food and electricity for at least a couple days. Hmm. Hey, I got dips on the sweet stuff. Yeah, because you need that. I see you're thinning. If you'll excuse me, I need to inform Sister Catherine about our situation. Yeah. It's probably nothing, but if you claim you saw something, Brad, I'll see if I can find any clues. I saw him on the on east side of the building last night, and he ran away. It is just a deer. No need to waste your energy. If it's a person, they may need help. They will be cut off from the main road just the same as us. Gross. I hope we don't end up with a smelly homeless person in here with us. Your charm has no bounds. Does it, Miss Harrison? You know, I can't think of worse places to be stuck. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Brad. I better make sure Simon isn't eating all the food. Yeah, well, it must be hard to be Simon's mother. <laughs> what do you mean, Simon? Are you still having fun? At least I'm not at home with my brother. Your older brother is going to be word sick. I wouldn't bet on that. Oh, hi. I can't believe you'll leave at home with your older brother and Valerie. It's only temporary. I just need to get a job. You're still a kid, Brad. Hey, soon I'm going to buy my own place and it's gonna be a kick-ass. Okay. What I'm going to do now? I'll go outside because I want to see if the man there is doing something or I don't know. It mm. won't work. No, 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 no. Um, I wanted to go and see if he was there somewhere. Yeah, indeed. Yes. yes. Any signs of someone? Yes, there are footprints leading out and back into the woods. Whoever it was, they are probably looking for a way to cross the river and discover the bridge here is destroyed. Aside the bridge, the north is also destroyed. I guess that makes sense. <sighs> yeah. So let's look around here. I really don't know where to watch. The only thing I find interesting is that... Oh, right. Brad, what are you doing here? It's alright. I don't mind his presence. I was just telling Catherine that. I don't believe it. Buddy has always been so kind to me. You shouldn't have blocked him up. Well, if it's any a consolation, I, it was probably just an accident. Yes, an accident. However, Buddy is not acting normal. He... He thinks there is a demon haunting his place. <gasps> Dame Woods demon? Don't tell me you believe that garbage too. I know of the rumors, but Buddy has always assured me that we have no hauntings here. Even when I've heard and seen things myself that have made me question. What kind of things have you heard? Come on, Brad, drop it. No, I want to hear this. It's just... The condemned area, I heard voices. I've also seen people here late at night, but they always disappear. <sighs> Father Parker would scold me for saying such things, but he is no longer here. When you say condemned area, are you referring to the old storage room that was renovated? She means the basement on the east side. I heard things down there too. Why is it condemned? There are no condemned areas on SDU campus. What are you talking about? The ma the basement is unsafe. Parker was given a lot of money from the SDU budget to renovate. He better not have wasted that money. I need to see for myself. Yeah, well, I don't um, suggest you to go there alone. I'm sorry about Father Parker. I should have told you sooner. I feel a great weight has, lift has lifted. Father Parker was not a nice man. What did he do to you? He would scold us if we wandered around at night. Mother Superior and Father Parker were both very strict about, about curfew. One time I caught Father Parker feeling a young student, something no man of God would ever do. 
He saw me looking and locked me, and the other nuns in our rooms for several days. The others learned to hate me for not knowing my place, but I kept pushing, pushing back, and in turn I was punished many times. Didn't tell anyone Bradley, but I've wished death upon him. I never believed him to be a man of God. I felt this happened for a reason. I think it's a sign you should shop the you should drop the non gig and hook up with me. Bradley, this is not what I meant. Come on, cat, don't be mad. I'm not mad, Bradley. I just need to be alone. I'm sorry. Yeah, guys, I think this is enough for now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was fun, like almost each part of this game, which is particularly difficult, but amazing. I really love this game. Graphic is amazing, animations are amazing, and the complexity of the game itself is amazing. So I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye.